It's Wes, welcome to this video. Today we're gonna to talk about my last two years with the Canon EOS R, what it's meant to me, what I've used it for, and what I think you might wanna know about it if you have the camera or you're looking at the Canon EOS R in 2021. All right, let's go. You're a beautiful person and a good person. And if no one has told you that today, and I suspect maybe they haven't, let me be the first person to tell you that. We're breaking it down and building you up in 2021. Uh, okay, so the Canon EOS R, some of the things I wanted to talk about are things that I rarely talk about on this channel. I purchased the Canon EOS R in 2018, and I used it for my personal use, but I also work for a school district, and we use that camera in the school district for things like uh, photo shoots and, and video shoots and live stream uh, production. So I wanted to talk through some of those things because I don't share them on my Instagram and I don't talk about them on this channel. But buying this camera personally led us to purchasing three of these to support the live stream broadcast and the TV broadcast portion of our innovation department. So I wanted to share those things with you. All right, so in the school district work, I'm gonna talk about some things that I don't really do personally. Uh, but you know I've used the Canon EOS R for food photography, I've used it for um, portraits, I've used it for weddings, I've used it for um, event photography, one of my favorite uh, genres, product photography. But we're also now gonna talk about large scale graphics, on location portrait shoot, and we're gonna talk about live stream and TV broadcasting. We're gonna break down those and go through each of those separately. All right, so first, Let's talk about live streaming. All right, so one of the things that has happened recently uh, with COVID is that our school board meetings have gone remote. And so we initially had a phase where we were doing Zoom, but then the school board wanted to come back in person. And so we started to have the Canon EOS R set up in the boardroom. And you might have seen this on my Instagram stories. Sometimes I'll post the setup for the day. And so we have the Canon uh, EOS R in the boardroom in the back with a wide angle lens. And then that is, Either I'm sitting right under it and we're running the USB-C out into my laptop and I'm live streaming using Ecamm Live, or the second setup we've been using is having a cam link from Sling Studio on top of this and I'm in another room adjacent, actually the superintendent's office, I'm in there adjacent and we're getting the camera signal wirelessly sent into that office and then I'm using Sling Studio, the iPad as a switcher and using the Sling Studio hub and console app to then mix the, the board meetings. So that's one of the things that the Canon EOS R has been used for in the school district job. And honestly, it's amazing. It's never failed. It's a great tool. The USB-C out, if you have a MacBook with the USB-C in, is almost like magic uh, using that for live streaming. And so that's one great uh, benefit of the Canon EOS R is reliable time and time after again. It's, it's a workhorse, live stream. All right, so then another thing that I wanna tell you about uh, using the Canon ESR for my school district job in the innovation department has been producing content for TV. And so this is an, an odd thing that happened during COVID is we started to have the opportunity to produce for our local uh, cable television channel that the city ran. And so we asked, teachers to come in, we were socially distant, we cleaned everything, but we set up a studio inside our offices. And uh, uh, Pablo, Buenos Dias Imagery is now filming me right now. He has the Canon, CR, Canon EOS R, I have the Canon EOS R. We come in, put them on tripods, camera link, camera link, and we send those signals wirelessly to um, a switcher using Sling Studio, and we would live mix. So we would be cutting live using the two Canon EOS Rs and then we would um, be able to produce kind of like a two camera and then eventually we got a three camera system once we uh, the school district uh, ponied up the dough and bought this awesome camera uh, for the studio we would use the canon eos rs in a two or three camera setup to have overhead shots and uh, shots uh, of the the teacher facing the camera and some side angles and we would mix programs to take. All right, so um, these, the, the one word that comes back is reliable. We would set these on a tripod and literally run them all morning, three, four hours at a time, wirelessly sending signals to be, um, to Matt, our switcher, who would then sort of produce. Um, but these things just run like clockwork. We never had to worry about anything, overheating, focus issues, nothing. They're amazing. And so um, we, produce that content, distribute it to the city, they would put it out on local cable. So we were using these cameras. And one of the benefits is honestly, having three cameras the same, two cameras the same, 
is matching the color, matching, matching the exposure. I mean, Pablo and I, we were like, C-log, C-log, yes, no. Uh, ISO 640, what's your F? f-stop value and we would just match them and the content came out very reliable high quality every time all right uh so one of the projects we have um that our department is in charge of in the district is called dream catchers and it's to highlight students who are using their passions and their talents to make the world a better place and so the first year we got the nominations we hired a photographer shout out to adon he came in took the photos of the students in a studio we got them on a school bus went over there and uh, then we put together this kind of superhero feel poster. And then the next year, um, we, had, we had the Canon EOS Rs. I had seen the process before that Adon led us through. And I thought, you know, let's, let's take the shots ourselves. And um, so we put together a poster. Um, all the students were shot with the Canon EOS R. We took uh, seamless white paper on C-stands to each school site, set up a portable photo studio, and we had strobes and everything so that the students had kind of brightly lit. There was no shadows really. It was pretty bright um, lit. So the exposures matched across all the photo shoots that we did at all the different uh, school sites. And so we used these uh, cameras, the Canon EOS R, to produce these movie style posters. And actually we shot uh, a movie trailer um, too that went along with this that played in, in uh, our local uh, theaters. But the Canon ESR was a workhorse. It's always reliable. I had on my notes it's portable, but I guess every camera is portable. It's just that we had these pop-up photo studios where we just, we did that all across the district. And that was a great use high quality performance from the Canon EOS R. All right, another project that we uh, undertook in our department using the Canon EOS R was producing large scale graphics. And uh, the superintendent school board wanted us to have these, uh, they're called LCAP's Local Control Accountability Programs. It's, it's about the funding and you go uh, and collect input from the community. And the way we did is we hosted block parties. And before the block parties, um, I organized with um, help from my team, photo shoots of students engaged in the various topics or themes that we wanted input from the community. So we had students um, studying and reading books and we had students using their devices for technology. We organized and held all these photo shoots um, outside during the bright day, kids running across the field, large strobes, um, and, and all the way shoots to indoors in the media center and libraries using our students to illustrate these themes. And then we would produce kind of five, six foot high pop-up banners that would go to these block parties and sit at the tables where the community was to give input. And so the Canon ESR did multiple photo shoots and the large scale graphics look amazing. And so it was really simple. We des designed them. Uh, shout out to Susan who helped design the banners in Canva, which is a great free tool. Um, and then the Canon EOS R images really looked stellar. Uh, people gave us compliment after compliment, and it's largely because the clarity of capturing the, the spirit and the kind of passion of our students really helped sell to the community that we cared about their input, and then uh, we collected at those tables where these large-scale graphics were. We even did a photo, uh, photo shoot in our nutrition department, and then they produced um, photos because they had kind of an info booth at these large uh, block parties and sharing what the uh, nutrition services was, were doing. So we used the Canon ESR in our district office nutrition services to highlight the food that was being produced that was healthy, had student input, um, and a lot of quality work being done in that department. Was, uh, that story was told through the Canon ESR. All right, kind of taking it home here, reflecting on the Canon EOS R. Um, so benefits, um, being able to use EF lenses because we had the 5D Mark IV, we had some EF lenses. That was a benefit. Um, we also have uh, the benefit of the awesome, amazing RF lenses uh, that just produce stellar, stellar image quality. And so my mantra is always look at uh, use, performance, and price. So when I talk about the uses that we get out of this camera through the, uh, the school district job, um, I'm kind of amazed producing content for local cable, live streaming, school board meetings that go hours and hours, 
um, producing uh, high quality photo shoots for poster projects and large scale graphics. Uh, we get our money's worth out of these cameras um, and they perform at a very high quality. Now, we aren't really affected by, I would say one of the downsides people have notoriously talked about this camera is the crop in 4K. Uh, most of the video content is for consumption on the web and social media, and so we rarely produce 4K content. We're doing it in 1080, and so we're not experiencing a crop. So that's one thing. Just know, uh, take that with a grain of salt. That's kind of where we're at, producing content for the school district. Um, but the performance, we've never had any overheating. I know that's been a buzzword in the last you know, six months or nine months when the R5 and R6 were coming out never any overheating. We just pop in a dummy battery right here and we can run for hours in the studio. Um, and so the performance aspect is amazing. Now I will say the one caveat, the one thing I, I don't particularly re recommend the R4 would be sports photography. We've done some photo shoots where the kids are running and as long as we keep it kind of manageable and predictable, we get awesome results. But I have taken it to my wife's district. I shot a basketball game. I've done some sports here and there and it's okay it's okay you probably want to look at something uh, a little more robust in the uh, high speed continuous uh, shooting range if you're really dedicated to sports photography and so the last thing is the price so I, honestly for a school district to invest eighteen hundred dollars in here and we're not really going to talk about the lenses but in this camera body to invest eighteen hundred dollars in this and to be able to do photo shoots video production live stream, TV broadcast production, all of those are amazing, amazing, amazing qualities and assets that contribute to running an effective 21st century school district. So uh, this camera has been a winner and it would be my choice in 2021 for the school district. Yeah, the R5 and the R6 are amazing, that's true. Um, but the price point is amazing. You get great quality, outstanding quality for that price. So that's gonna be it for, for me. Thank you for joining in. I hope this has been helpful. Uh, leave me a comment and let me know, do you use the Canon EOS R for work? What do you use it for? What do you like about it? What do you wish were different? And uh, what are some other things that you think I should have talked about or we could be using this for in work promoting public education? See ya.